Boston College with Pat Mullane. Pat, where are you from and where did you start playing hockey? I'm, uh, I'm from Longford, Connecticut, and I started playing hockey when I was uh, 18 months old. My dad threw me on the ice. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but, you know, he grew up playing the sport and loved the sport and loved watching the Bruins. So, um, you know, he hoped that translated to me and just threw me out there. And, you know, I, I've loved, loved it since. Now, what made you choose playing college hockey over perhaps playing juniors? Um... Education has always been important to my family. I remember a lot of the the Quebec teams would call, would call my house and and would ask for me, and my mom would just you know hang up the phone and be like, there you know there's no chance that um, that you're not going to get your education. So you know education was um, you know it, it was made very clear that I was going to get my di my diploma no matter what, and uh, um, you know so that's something I just grew up with. And how about being at the top of the polls? The past couple of years, you guys have dominated. Does that add any pressure to you in the games that you play? Uh, you know, it doesn't add pressure. Um, you know, being one or, or you know two or sixteen, it, it, you know, it doesn't really matter. We still have to go out and um, and perform. You know, on, on Friday and Saturday nights, it doesn't really matter if you know if we're the number two team in the nation. Um, you know, if we don't play well, um, you know, we're not going to win hockey games. So. Um, right now, we just have to, you know, kind of stick to the basics and uh, and play our game. And you know, at the end of the year, um, you know, when the NCAA tournament rolls around, we'll worry about, you know, if we're one or not. Um, but right now, we just have to go out and play our game. The icebreaker tournament was a great start to your season. You had two goals and an assist versus North Dakota. Does that give you momentum going forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, there, there was a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people questioning, you know, how we were going to be offensively. And, you know, with the loss of, you know, Cam and Jimmy, um, you know, who was going to step up and kind of take over for us offensively. And, um, you know, I thought the icebreaker proved that, you know, we do have a lot of guys that can step up and, and score goals. And, you know, Billy Arnold's leading our team right now with seven points, which is great for him. Chris Kreider stepping up, um, Barry Almeida, and then we have, you know, Johnny Goudreau, who's a freshman. Um, you know, so that's always great to see guys like that step up and, um, you know, fill the role, the, the score that we kind of lost after, after last year. Lane back to the point for Way to cross a one-timer wide of the net rebound and front score. Mullane tucks the rebound home and Boston College ties the score two to two. And this summer you were at the Washington's development camp. What kinds of skills did you learn from that experience that you can bring into this season? Um, you know, it wasn't really skills. It was more of a um, you know learning experience on what I have to do to you know to get to that next level. And um, it was nice being around a lot of pros and um, you know see how they. Um, you know, just go about their your, their daily routines and and seeing what it takes to um, you know to become an, an NHL you know to become an NHL player. Um, you know what they have to do day in and day out. And so that that was my biggest learning um, <coughs> learning adjustment was you know seeing what they they had to do to be successful. Now your schedule is very busy with games, practice, and of course schoolwork. What do you like to do when you're not on the ice and studying? Uh, well, I live with uh with with six of the juniors, so uh, um, you know whenever we can, whenever we're not doing uh, schoolwork or the guys aren't hanging out with their girlfriends, and we can get together and sit down and you know kind of just catch up on the day or um, you know, talk about who to, who had a good practice, who had a bad practice, you know what they did the other day. That's uh um, you know that's what I really enjoy doing. So it's it's always fun to sit in our common room and and uh, and kind of look back on the day or the week and just have a few laughs. Let me guess, you play Call of Duty together? Uh, yeah, they I don't play Call of Duty. We play uh. We're into Tiger Woods now, so we have uh, some, some serious Tiger Woods battles, which, which are always fun. Okay, let's do some superlatives for the team. Who is the nerdiest? Uh, without a doubt, Brooke Styroff. He, uh, um, obviously, he, he channels his, his nerdiness in, in a really positive way with CEO for teens and, and winning the Hockey Humanitarian last year, but uh, um, he spends a lot of time in the library. He obviously gets probably the best grades in our team, um, but for the amount of time he spends in the library, he should. Who's the funniest? Um, funniest would probably be Paul Carey or or, uh, or Chris Venti. Those guys bring a lot to the locker room, um, you know, with jokes or dance moves or anything like that. They're 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 uh, a lot of they're good good guys to be around. How about best dancer? Oh God, I hate to give it to Paul Carey. I, I'm just pumping his tires today. But uh, Paul Carey, he's uh he's got some pretty good moves. Or freshman Quinn Smith. Quinn Smith does pretty well on the dance floor. And what kind of moves does he have? 
Uh, he's got a decent Harlem shake. Um, he's busted that out a few times in the locker room, so I'll give him credit for that. It's a pretty good Harlem shake. Very nice. Okay, last one. How about best dressed? Oh, my God. Um, well, I don't want to say Paul Carey again, so I'm just going to answer worst dressed, and I'll give that to Brian DeMoulin. Um, Brian DeMoulin would probably say he's the best dressed, but um, you see him around campus, and a lot of times you'll be like, what are you wearing? So I'd probably got to give that to, to, to Dumo.